Last will have completed the signing of Urian Timber. We very much look forward to seeing what he can offer this Arsenal side and whether that will help them with another title challenge in this campaign. The 22-year-old can play right back and centre back. It's a long-term contract as well from him. And it does appear that Arsenal have been in his plans in the long term too. Take a look at this. Last Ajax over five years. Ajax 1 or Ajax 2? Ajax 1 or Ajax 2. Of the top of Ajax 1. Ja, ja. Of uh, net vertrokken naar Engeland of Spanje. Ja? ja. Wat zijn dan clubs waar je denkt, daar wil ik echt, daar wil ik heen? Ik ben altijd van geweest van uh, Arsenal. You've got to be loving that if you're an Arsenal fan, haven't you? <laughs> to see that it was always there, the dream, it in the keeping it alive. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good signing for Arsenal. And, and listen, Arsenal have, uh, over the last five months under Arteta, um, have done fantastic business. They continue to be the most likely of, of Manchester City's um, challengers this time around. And, and having a player who, again, adds depth in, in a number of positions and will be there for the long term, I think, again, very good business for Arsenal. If the task is to surpass Manchester City, um, I, as good a window as it's been, as, as good a job as Arteta has done, I still don't think they're there yet. If we're talking about widening the gap between them and who you expect the chasing pack to be, I think this adds to that. How big a boost is he to this squad, Gab? And will he start? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, if he does end up starting uh, alongside Saliba uh, at some point, obviously. Uh, you know, Gabriel's done done a fine job, but uh, but equally, I think Timber, uh, you know, was one of the most hyped players out there. Great price for him uh, as well. It's a typical situation where, you know, if you wait a season, um, you know, it could be one and a half times that. Uh, they're putting out that, oh, well, you know, he'll be an alternative to Ben White. I don't know if that's a way to, to, take, to take some pressure off um, the, the center backs, but personally, I, I think his future uh, is, is at the heart of the defense, maybe not this season, um, but um, he, he's a great signing and another talented young player going to Arsenal. Stevie lost a bet last season going with Arsenal, well, going against Arsenal. You've already gone against them very early, ahead of the new season. Have you put another bet Hold on? Hold on a second. Have you put another bet on? I've gone against them. I just, all I said was that Man City would win the league. But I mean, how's that? Kieran you make that sound as though I've completely rubbished them. Did you go in favour of them? <laughs> See what I mean? I've stayed out of this. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you've been, this you've is been between listening. you two. I'm staying out of this. Are, are, they, are they challenging again? You've been watching and listening to Dan Thomas too much. <laughs> <I'm telling laughs> it's you. hard not to. Are they going to have a challenge? Yes, I think they'll, they'll, they'll challenge. They've, with the signings, including Timber, they've made themselves better and stronger depth wise. So well, there's no reason why they, they, they can't challenge again. All I said was that I think City are favourites. That doesn't mean I'm going against Arsenal. Sounds like he's backtracking. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, well, put your money where your mouth is, Stephen. <laughs> 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 uh, let's talk a little bit about... Um, oh, we'll continue to talk a little bit about Arsenal, actually, if, if we can. Declan Rice, that's where we've got to go. What's going on here, Gab? When's this going to get done? You know, it's a mystery because uh, I just came back from vacation and uh, sort of 10 days ago, uh, I was I was told by somebody very close at Arsenal that like their PR team were already working on, on putting together all the, the all the material for his announcement, the social media stuff, they had everything ready and they were just waiting for the green light. And I'm kind of shocked that 10 days later, they're, they're basically still waiting uh, from what's been reported here. It's frustrating for West Ham. First and foremost, that the deal is not getting done because it is all agreed. They're saying it's just a paperwork issue. Um, and, you know, literally every day for the past three days, they said, oh, yeah, today's the day. Just with the lawyers, lawyers just need to sign off. Um, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I wonder if they're waiting until Sunday so that they can uh, um, upstage that guy in Miami. Maybe that's the idea. I don't know. <laughs> Who? Who would that be? A, a rice mojito? I don't know. Sandra <laughs> Rao. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube and for more sports highlights and analysis be sure to download the ESPN app and for premium content and live streaming subscribe to ESPN Plus.